If you're planning on flying in Europe, you may want to pack an extra mask. That's because several airlines have banned cloth face coverings in favor of the higher standard generic surgical masks or KN95 respirators. Companies like Air France and Lufthansa making the decision with variant cases rising around the world. Dr. Teresa Amato understands that decision. We have people come into the building, whether they be patients or, or visitors. We actually give them our one surgical mask and ask them to take off their own cloth mask because we, we really can't regulate um, if they're using an appropriate mask. As chair of emergency medicine at LIJ Forest Hills Hospital, she's very familiar with the range of face coverings available. I have a cloth mask that I think a lot of lay people have and have access to. So these are the N95 that you keep hearing about. I have what we call a surgical mask, which I am given by my organization when I come into work every day. She says all remain acceptable to limit exposure to mutations like the more contagious Delta variant. But here's a tip about those cloth masks. You want to make sure that if you hold it up to the light, you can't see light through it. So that, that'll kind of let you know that it's thick enough. The CDC recommends KN95 masks, also known as respirators, if people will be in close contact with strangers for a long period of time. Dr. Dr. Amato also says the readily available surgical masks are still a standard of protection in the current surge of cases. If you're in a high risk uh, area and you yourself are at risk, you, you, we're recommending wearing the mask despite your vaccination status. And she says getting that vaccine is the best defense. Dan Bowens, Fox 5 News.